Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we are on a journey together of studying the Bible one chapter at a time. I'm writing a short devotional thought on each chapter, and then I'm sharing that with you. Today, we're starting Paul's letter to the Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians chapter 1. Do you like to cook? <laughs> do you follow recipes, or do you create your own along the way? Either way, you know that the finished product depends on getting all the ingredients just right. If you're missing something, this meal may be good enough, but it won't be great. <laughs> Paul teaches in 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verses 4 through 8. For we know, brothers and sisters, loved by God, that he has chosen you because our gospel came to you not only in word, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with full conviction. You know what kind of men we proved to be among you and for your sake. And you became imitators of us and of the Lord, for you received the word in much affliction with the joy of the Holy Spirit, so that you became an example to all the believers. Amen. Paul gives us God's recipe for all of us to live in such a way that our lives line up, walk in a manner worthy, our lives line up with the gospel of Jesus. First, our lives are to line up with the word of God. His word is a lamp unto our feet and a light to our path. That's Psalm 119, verse 105. Second, our lives manifest the power of God. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. We learn that in Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. Our lives are directed by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not only the sustainer of all Christian life, but he is also the teacher of God's word and the guide of using God's power. Okay, you can learn a lot about the Holy Spirit from Jesus' farewell address. Just check out John chapter 14, 15, and 16. And I'm specifically referencing John 14, 26. And finally, number four, our lives are anchored with a deep conviction. Our only certainty for this and for eternal life is our faith and hope in Jesus Christ. Check out Hebrews chapter 11, verses 1 to 6. Now there is a great recipe for living the victorious life of Jesus Christ. Are you missing any of those ingredients in your life? Seize the moment and don't settle for good enough. Live the victorious promises of God today. Seize the moment.